On behalf of Governor Terry McAuliffe, the Virginia Department of Fire Programs, and the Virginia Fire Services Board, we want to say congratulations to the 2015 winners of the Governor's Fire Services Awards. The Governor's Awards represent the best of the best within Virginia's fire services. We want to thank everyone that put in a nomination this year, and we'd also like to encourage everyone to apply for the 2016 Governor's Fire Services Awards. For the uh, 2015 Governor's Fire Service Awards Program, please join me in welcoming uh, the Executive Director of the Virginia Department of Fire Programs, Chief Melvin Carter. Yes, we're coming with the entourage. Good morning, Fire Service family. <clears throat> I know you've said good morning a couple of times, but it's just how I've been raised. I can't help it, so I apologize. Um, to Mayor Sessions, Chief Culver, thank you very much for a, a very welcoming city. Um, I'm sure all of you have had a wonderful time. And even though it snowed last year, the Fire Service is still here. That's just what we do. Snow, rain, doesn't matter. That's what we do. So thank you very much for a, a warm welcome. Outgoing President Chief Lehman, uh, thank you for your leadership. The past 12 months have been phenomenal. Thank you for your partnership and the personal friendship. I truly, truly appreciate it. And to incoming President Pat Dent, I look forward to working with you as well. My agency stands ready to support you and the Virginia Fire Chiefs Association. And I know I speak on behalf of Chief Teal. Anything that we and the Secretary can do to assist you in making sure that the needs of Virginia's fire services are met, as well as meeting our missions for our community, we stand here to assist you. From the Virginia Department of Fire Programs, my past two years, along with Brooke, past two years have been phenomenal. We cannot do it without you, without you for the comments that you have provided, for the input that you have shared, and for the support that you provide our agency. So do not stop talking to us, as I know you won't. And uh, we appreciate you, and we appreciate serving you. And last but not least, uh, Executive Director Chris Udaley. Where are you, sir? Thank you, Chris. So make sure that I would be remiss if I didn't mention you and the leadership that you provide to your agency. So speaking of service, let's get started with the uh, Governor's Awards. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security Brian Moran, and the Virginia Fire Services Board, it is my honor to present the 2015 winners of the Governor's Fire Service Awards. The Governor's Fire Service Awards were established in 2002 to formally recognize professional ex excellence and the outstanding achievement of Virginia's fire services and acknowledgement that often goes unrecognized. That is why, this is why, the Governor's Fire Services Awards are such a great program. This year's nominations include an outstanding representation of Virginia's fire services and, the, and their commitment to the protection and safety of the Commonwealth. It is therefore with great honor that I present on behalf of Governor McAuliffe the 2015 Gover Governor's Fire Service Awards. The first award, Excellence in Virginia Fire Services, is being presented to the cities of Chesapeake, Norfolk, Virginia Beach for their Tri-City Automatic Aid Plan. Launched in May of 2015, the cities of Chesapeake, Norfolk, and Virginia Beach implemented a system of automatic mutual aid for their three jurisdictions. Implementing such a system was a daunting task that took immense collaboration from all three cities. This collaboration included the development of a new operating procedures, increased training of personnel on the new response protocol, and the integration of their respective GIS systems. Since its implementation, more than 100 calls have received automatic mutual aid, and each city has witnessed a decrease in response time, yielding a reduction in fire property loss and civilian casualties. The Tri-City Automatic Aid Plan is a model of regionalism as a more than one city challenge. This program has eliminated jurisdictional boundaries and has tripled the fire service protection available to the citizens of Chesapeake, Norfolk, and Virginia Beach. On, the, on behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to present Chief Ed Elliott, Chief Jeffrey Wise, and Chief Steve Culver with the 2015 Governor's Excellence in Virginia Fire Services Award.
The next award is for Excellence in Virginia Community Risk Reduction. There are two recipients for this new award category. The first recipient is Chill Howie Fire in the EMS Department and Errol, Earl Ree Jett of the Hillsville Volunteer Fire Department. The Chill Howie Fire Department and the EMS Department has made a significant commitment to provide, to provide critical fire protection services to its rural community consisting of predominantly of single family homes and small businesses. Under the leadership of Chief Charles D. Haynes, the town of Chihauwe adopted local enforcement of the Uniform Statewide Building Code in 2012 and local enforcement of the Virginia Statewide Fire Prevention Code in 2014. These initiatives took relentless de determination by Chief Haynes and his staff and their hard work has paid off. The success of Chihauwe Fire and the EMS Department's efforts are measurable by reduction in house fires as well as the lack of a business fire since local enforcement's effort began. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to present Chief Charles Haynes and the Chilhowee Fire and EMS Department with the Excellence in Virginia Community Risk Reduction. The second recipient of the Excellence in Virginia Community Risk Reduction is Errol Ray Jett. Mr. Jett has dedicated over 50 years of service to fire protection and exemplifies the qualities of a true fire prevention professional. Each year, he donates his time and money to coordinate the fire prevention program for the six local elementary schools in Carroll County, as well as the numerous daycare centers. His dedication to the community and children is a true asset to the Hillville Fire Volunteer Fire Department, <coughs> excuse me, and the citizens of Carroll County. Mr. Jett is most deserving of this award because of all of his effort are done on a volunteer basis while juggling his other family and work commitments. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, I am honored to present Earl Ray Jett with the Excellence in Virginia Community Risk Reduction. The next award is presented to the Machinery Rescue and Emergency Building Shoring Course Development Committees for Excellence in Virginia Fire Services Training. After identifying a shortage in the fields of machinery rescue operations and emergency building shoring training courses within the Commonwealth, members of two development committees approached the Virginia Department of Fire Programs to begin a cooperative partnership to develop and deliver these courses. The two development courses, two development committees brought together leaders in Virginia's technical rescue program and included individuals from the cities of Charlottesville, Hampton, Newport News, Norfolk, Salem, Stanton, and Washington, D.C., as well as Henrico County. The Machinery Rescue Course, one of the few in the country, has not only been offered to Virginia's fire services, but a law enforcement course was developed and delivered to members of the Virginia State Police and local law enforcement officials within the Metro Richmond region as well. The Emergency Building Shoring System class was designed using the FEMA Urban Search and Rescue Collapse Technician Shoring Modules, which were abbreviated to allow for, two, to allow for a two-day delivery at the operations level. Through this collaborative and ingenious learning environment, these two courses have come to life and are providing a new form of interactive and engaging learning to firefighters across Virginia. The members of the development committee displayed outstanding leadership and dedication to their fellow firefighters by resolving an identified gap in Virginia's fire training program. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to present members of the Machinery Rescue and Emergency Building Shoring Course Development Committees the Excellence in Virginia Fire Service Training Award. Accepting the award for the Machinery Rescue are Chief Scott Garber, 
Fire Chief Scott Garber, forgive me, Captain Brian Butler, Lieutenant Mike Elston, Firefighter Dunstan Glidewell, Firefighter John Burris. Did I leave anybody out? Okay. Accepting the award for the Emergency Services Building Shoring Development Committee are Captain Mark Gwynn, Chief David Lehman, Fire Chief David Lehman, Chief Jamie Davis, Lieutenant Brian Sanzo, <coughs> Lieutenant Ed Donovan, Lieutenant Pat Bruno, <coughs> Firefighter Sam Short, and Captain Mark Kumashat. Congratulations. The next award being presented is the Private Sector Excellence in Virginia Fire Services Support. Since opening in 2014, Mission Barbecue has been extremely generous to the Roanoke Fire and EMS Department. Mission Barbecue has graciously provided food to members of the Roanoke Fire and EMS Department and their families without charge numerous times over the past two years. Additionally, Mission Barbecue has provided more than just-in-kind donations. The restaurant recently has two fundraisers for the Roanoke Fire and EMS and has raised nearly $10,000. However, the most meaningful support and friendship came after Roanoke tragically lost firefighter Jesse Clippen, Clippen, Klingenpeel in an oil accident. During their critical time of need, Mission Barbecue donated food to the department and the Klingenpeel family. Mission Barbecue has demonstrated exceptional dedication to the success of Virginia's fire services through their continuous support for the members of Roanoke Fire and EMS Department. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to present Mission Barbecue with the Private Sector Excellence in Virginia's Fire Service Support. Accepting the award is Heather Chocolate. The next award to be presented is the Civilian Excellence in Virginia Fire Services Support. I am pleased to present the 2015 award to the Office of Environmental Health and Safety at the University of Virginia for their exemplary community risk reduction program that provides critical protection to students, faculty, staff, and visitors. Under the leadership of Director Thomas Leonard, the University of Virginia's Fire and Life Safety Program is one of the most outstanding and comprehensive programs in the country. It serves as a model for colleges and universities, aqu universities across the United States. Prior to, the, prior to arriving on campus, incoming students receive fire safety information on items prohibited in the residence hall, decoration policy, smoke alarm information, and general fire safety tips. The Office of Environmental Health and Safety also works to identify those students requiring additional assistance in the event of a fire. In addition to maintaining fire safety on campus, the Office of Environmental Health and Safety contracts with the City of Charlottesville to conduct annual fire inspections on all fraternity and sorority housing, as well as housing complexes with a high student population. The University of Virginia has been, has been a tremendous partner to Virginia's community risk reduction efforts, and their leadership is truly worthy of the Governor's Award. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to present the University of Virginia with the Civilian Excellence and Virginia's Fire Service Support. Accepting this award, is Fire Marshal Gerald Drumheller. Amen. 
The next two award categories are new this year, first being Firefighter of the Year and the second being the Chief of the Year. These categories recognize exemplary, exemplary professional achievement and pay a tribute to excellence on a more individualized level. Master Firefighter Justin Beard of Stanton Fire and, Stanton Fire and Rescue has been selected as the 2015 Virginia Firefighter of the Year. As a seven-year veteran of the City of Stanton Fire and Rescue Department, Master Firefighter Justin Beard has selfishly dedicated himself to his fellow firefighters and the residents of Stanton. During 2015, Master Firefighter Beard received first and second degree burns to his upper back and shoulders during his, during his rescue of two victims from a residential structure fires. However, what sets Master Firefighter Beard apart in his heroics have not been limited to the fire ground. Master Firefighter Beard went above and beyond this past year to help a local boy suffering from an aggressive form of leukemia. Master Firefighter Beard organized a special engine company to visit the young man's residence and presented him with his own set of turnout gear and designated him as an honorary firefighter. Additionally, Master Firefighter Beard coordinated a local medical hel helicopter to surprise the boy and his family with an early arrival of Santa in December due to his worsening condition. Master Firefighter Justin Beard is truly worthy of the Virginia Firefighter of the Year for his continued bravery and selfish commitment to the profession and his local community. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to award Master Firefighter Justin Beard the 2015 Virginia Firefighter of the Year. The last award goes to two most deserving fire chiefs that represent the very best in Virginia's fire services leadership. Our first Virginia Fire Chief of the Year recipient is Fire Chief Steve Culver of the Virginia Beach Fire Department. Is a commitment leader, is a committed leader that is well respected at the local, regional, state, and national levels. Chief Culver has displayed leadership, humility, and integrity, integrity throughout his nearly 40 years with the, Virginia, with the Virginia Beach Fire Department. Whether operating on the scene of a major incident, serving as emergency manager during a severe weather event, or teaching at the Virginia Fire Officers Academy, he is a true professional and a role model for the future of Virginia Fire Services. His ability to superiorly manage an emergency incident was most recently demonstrated in April of 2012 when a Navy jet crashed into an apartment complex. Chief Culver quickly took command and within 90 minutes had the fire slash incident contained. Throughout this incident, Chief Culver has, throughout that incident, Chief Culver was instrumental in coordinating numerous local, state, and federal agencies to mitigate this significant incident and ensure there were no loss of life. Chief Culver is most deserving of this award and is, on, is one of the finest chiefs in the profession. His passion and dedication complements his knowledge, skill, and abilities. His pursuit of knowledge and his dedication to our profession are evident in everything he does. On behalf of, on behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to award Fire Chief Steve Culver the 2015 Virginia Fire Chief of the Year Award.
Our second Virginia Chief of the Year recipient, Woody Henderson of the Fort Lewis Volunteer Fire Department. Chief Henderson has put the needs of his community above his own for 40 years. Chief Henderson has been a valuable leader to the Fort Lewis Fire Department and has mentored countless young firefighters and hazmat technicians. Over the years, Chief Henderson fostered collaborative working relationships with the career personnel of Roanoke County Fire and Rescue and the members of 12 volunteer fire and rescue stations. However, the most endearing testimony, testimony to his calm demeanor and loyalty stems from the fact that Chief Henderson is admired by many of his members as both a father and a brother. Chief Henderson retired in January of 2016 and will long be remembered for his dedication to the department and commitment to his members. On behalf of Governor McAuliffe, it is my honor and privilege to award Chief Woody Henderson the 2015 Virginia Chief of the Year Award. I would like to congratulate all of this year's winners as well as all of the brave members of Virginia's Fire Services that courageously protect and serve the citizens of the Commonwealth every day in large and small ways. One cannot help but be inspired by the selfless actions and unwavering commitment of these individuals to Virginia's Fire Services. I thank you. This concludes the presentation of the 2015 Governor's Awards. Well, I'm honored and humbled. It's, a, uh, it's truly an honor, and it's a tribute to the men and women of the Virginia Beach Fire Department. I'm truly uh, honored to represent them, and without their help and assistance, uh, I certainly wouldn't have won this. This is a team award. It's not an individual award. Um, I want to thank, uh, certainly, uh, the governor and his staff uh, for their involvement in Virginia's fire service uh, for the past couple of years. Uh, as a past president of this organization, that, uh, that relationship means a lot. And uh, so, so I am truly honored and humbled, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to represent Virginia's fire service through this award. Certainly, uh, if, if I'm able uh, to get this award, anyone is able to get this award. Um, I'm certainly uh, thrilled to, uh, to, to get the first one. It, uh, it means a lot to me personally. I think it uh, means a lot for our department. Um, and it, uh, I think anybody coming behind me, um, I think it's going to uh, exemplify their hard work and the contributions that they've made to the fire service. I'm, I'm, I'm honored. Um, it was a total shock and a surprise to me, but like I said, I was honored to receive such a distinguished award, especially being the first year that they give the award. Well, it means a whole lot to me because uh, I love working with kids. And I've been blessed with good health, strength to work with the kids and work with fire prevention programs. And I've, I've just been blessed to work with this bunch of men, too. It's, it's been great. I've been working with the fire prevention program. I got one organized in Carroll County with the three departments several years ago. And uh, since then, I've been working with the uh, elementary schools in our county and the, uh, the uh, child care centers, talking to them. And it, like I said, I've just been blessed to be able to do this. It, a group of us got together and had, had been discussing that there was a lack of training when it came to uh, specialized rescue when it came to machinery. Um, there was no really formal training for that. Uh, most people relied on their vehicle extrication skills for that type of training. So we. We developed a class that we could fine tune those skills to get into meticulous work areas um, to be able to extricate people from very uh, small areas or, or very compact areas. It's a, it's a great honor, it's, um, it's humbling, um, but it's, it's a huge honor to stand here and receive this award before everyone.